Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, happy to see you here. Today we have a very interesting, I would say like quick and relaxing algebra question. Here you can see this question in the middle of the screen. We have 6 times 6 plus 6 divided by 6 and right here we have parentheses. So what is the correct answer? Right now you can easily pause the video and write a solution, write your answer down into the comment section. We have four options, A, B, C and D. So right now, write the solution down into the comment section and of course we will check our solutions in the end of the video. It will be really interesting. So here's our question. And a lot of students might be saying, okay, let's just do this from left to right in a strict order from left to right. So we have 6 times 6 equal to equal to 36. The next thing we have plus 6 divided by 6, plus 6 divided by 6. So as a result, once more from left to right. So we have 42. We have we still have this division on the left side because this is our last side from, from left to right. So we have 42 divided by 6 equal to equal to 7. We have this option. This is option A. A lot of students may be saying, okay, let's go from, from left from left to right in this strict order and let's do this thing from left to right. And you know, a lot of students may be saying that A is a correct answer to this question. And what makes all the difference in the world is the order we do this problem. Because in this question, we, if you look closely, we have multiplication. We have right here, we have addition. We have division right here on the surplus, and moreover, we have parentheses. So it looks like we have something like that. And in terms of math, it's really great to know how can we order all of these mathematical operators, because we can't solve our question from left to right. Because, for example, when we start with addition right here, we have one answer. If we start with division, we have the second answer and completely different answer. If we start with this multiplication, at this place, we have completely different answer. And you know, it's not a good thing to solve this question with the three different different answers. We need to know what is the correct order to do this problem. For example, we say the first place parentheses, the second place like a multiplication divisions or something like that. But we right now we are having, we have an algorithm and we have the basic principles. So right now let's try to learn a little bit about order of operation. And then after this, after analyzing this order of operation, we can easily say a correct answer to this question. So a lot of students say that option A is a correct answer. Right now let's look closely what I'm going to explain right now. Here's our order of operation on the right side. This order of operation is called PEMDAS order of operation. Maybe a lot of students know about BODMAS order of operation. This BODMAS order of operation mainly used in India, in the UK. Sometimes we have BOMDAS or different like variations of this PEMDAS, BODMAS. But to be honest, the meaning is absolutely the same. All of these orders are absolutely the same with the algorithm and with the basic principles, with the basic algebra principles. So right now, let's look closely at this PEMDAS, which is main, which mainly used used in Europe, in Canada, in the USA. But to be honest, as I told before, every order of operation has absolutely the same meaning and absolutely the same principles. It's just depending on what country you live in. So this PEMDAS is, is like a quick checklist. So each of these letters stands for something. So for example, letter P stands for parentheses. And why I, or this type of brackets, or this type of squiggly brackets, or this type of brackets. And right now, why I start with this PEMDAS? Uh, why I start with this letter P? Because uh, this letter is the first sign from, from left to right. And on the left side, on this side, we have the elements which have like the higher priority. Right here we have it, so our priority. It means that on the left side, we need to perform all the thing at first. Okay, so we need to find, uh, we need to evaluate this expression inside parentheses at first. And in 99% of cases, parentheses has the highest priority. Okay, so right now we need to start with this parentheses. So right now let's find where do we have expression where do we have a question where do we have parentheses yeah we have parentheses right here so every time just underline all of this all of this stuff so the first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses so saying in another words when we get this expression down to one value we can easily in the end we will multiply it by six so let's just forget a little bit about this six let me just with this green color let me just cancel this six uh, not like cancel let's use this type of brackets and mention it as a last step. So this is our last step. And right now, when we evaluate this expression inside parentheses, then we can easily multiply it by six and we will have our, our answer. Because this is only six, this is not like parentheses, exponent powers, we have only six. So right now, all the things go to these parentheses. So let me just rewrite all of this stuff. So we have six 
plus 6 divided by 6. So when we evaluate this expression inside parentheses, we can easily get a correct answer with this multiplication by 6. So right now, we have, we have parentheses, we underlined it, so we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. And after finding parentheses, I recommend you to scan this question in terms of exponents. So letter E stands for exponents. So these are powers, like 2 to the power 5, like 10 to the power 5. So we're talking about this thing, which is called like powers. Don't be scared about it. And every time, just scan this question in terms of exponent because after parentheses we need to evaluate the expression with exponent in our case we don't have exponent so we can easily cancel this exponent real quick right now let's look closely what do we have in our question of course we don't have exponents and right now let's scan our parentheses because we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses how we scan this type of question inside parentheses we don't have like six divided by six we have six at the six uh, we add to the six and divided by six so six at plus six and divided by six okay we have a complicated a little bit complicated expression so right now we need to know how can we solve this question because there are two ways how can we do this the first way with addition first so we have six plus six and uh, we have 12 12 divided by six we have right here we have two and we have another way we have division first so we have six plus six divided by six equal to one so we have we have seven and as i told before we have two and we have seven we can't solve this question with two different with two different answers we have two we have seven so when we multiply it by six we have 12 of course and we have 42 so two completely different answers so right now as i told before we need to scan what elements do we have in our question let's do this right now so i'm going to change my pen real quick and right here we have addition and we have we have division so one of these elements we can easily do at first but what el what elements we need to do we need to do at first first of all we have addition and division and moreover we don't have a uh, multiplication and subtraction so we can easily cancel real quick uh, among these four steps we need to find what elements had the higher priority we have addition and we have division so addition we have right here a stands for for addition and we still have division division have we have right here and of course we can easily cancel real quick multiplication and subtraction so among these four steps which is like the easiest the basic one we need to find what elements had the higher priority in our case we have addition and division so which one had the higher priority as i told before we go from left side to right side so we need to scan what elements comes first from left to right okay let's do this so we have division and we have we have addition so which one is the first uh, from left to right of course division is the first from left to right so we need to evaluate the expression and at this point so six divided by six we need to put imaginary brackets right here and we need to divide six divided by six as a result what do we have we have six plus six divided by six equal to equal to one and we still have this parents and right now at this point okay right now we need order of operation at this point but to be honest at this point we don't need this order of operation anymore we're gonna to rewrite this six don't forget about it we have the six in the beginning so we have this expression and as i told before parentheses all the time had the higher priority this is our first step and that's why we evaluated it right here and we need to evaluate it at this point so six plus one equal to seven so we give six times six plus one equal to equal to seven and as a result we can easily say that we complete our parentheses part inside parentheses we have division and addition division is the first step from 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 left to right we can easily do this and we have six times seven of okay you don't need this order of operation anymore because this is our 40 42 and this is our correct answer a uh, correct answer to this question and let's look closely in the beginning because okay we have 42 but in the beginning we guessed that our answer uh, cover correct answer is seven and to be honest just forget about this approach that i i show you before because this is a wrong approach i just show you because a lot of students think that we can solve this question randomly and this is not how it works we need to forget we need to forget about this step as i told before we can easily underline all of this stuff right here because we had a uh, parenthesis first so let me just underline this a little bit right here so parenthesis this is our first step we need to evaluate the expression inside parenthesis right now we're scanning okay we have addition and we have division which sign comes first from left to right not not like sign which mathematical operators comes first from left to right of course d that is the first from left to right so we need to divide at first from left to right so our second step is this this division after finding our parentheses after after division we still have this addition and we we need to do this because we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses so our third step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses and our fourth step this is our multiplication at this point 
of this our, our four step. I just underline, I, I just make a quick assessment about this, about this PEMDAS. So we have this uh, quick step-by-step -step PEMDAS right here. So parentheses, division, addition, and multiplication, because parentheses has the highest, has the highest priority. And maybe a lot of students watch my video right now. I'm going to show you a really interesting trick, a really interesting key moment at this question, because this is extremely important thing. Okay, let's forget a little bit about parentheses and let's forget a little bit about exponent because maybe in 90% of cases, in 90% of cases, we have to work, we need to work with multiplication, division, addition, and, and subtraction. So with the basic one, because everyone know that a parenthesis has the highest priority, so everyone know that we need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. But when we have a mixture of multiplication and division, addition, and subtraction, so I just wanna split it by group. So we have multiplication, division, and addition, and subtraction. So whenever we have multiplication with the mixture of multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, we need to perform multiplication, division first in a strict order from left to right, and then then addition and subtraction at the second at the second step. So here's like a quick example. So for example, we have two divided by two plus four minus seven divided by three minus eight plus four times nine minus seven plus plus eight. Okay, this expression, this is like a mixture of multiplication and division. As I told before, don't forget about it, that we need to perform multiplication division first and then addition and subtraction first in a strict order from left from left to right. Of course, in when we have addition and subtraction, you don't need this order of operation anymore because we can easily solve it without any order of operation. But whenever we have this long and complicated mixture of multiplication and division, right now, first of all, the addition, uh, division and multiplication first from left to right. So at this point, we need to perform it first, this division right here, this multiplication right here, and that's it. Okay, so we have division, we have division, we have multiplication, we have addition, subtraction, subtraction, uh, addition, and uh, subtraction, addition. So this is our final final step. So every time you have a mixture of multiplication division, just uh, just evaluate the expression, just put these imaginary brackets in your head that you need to evaluate um, multiplication division group at first and then addition and, and subtraction. This is a very huge mistake to be honest because a lot of students say, okay, how is that possible? We don't need to know it, but just look at it. So for example, we have we have uh, just a quick example why this is extremely important. So for example, we have six plus uh, like two, uh, six plus two, and divided by, by, for example, let's go with the four, okay? So whenever we start with addition at first, okay, let's use this as a, a special case. Six plus two equal to, equal to eight, eight divided by four, equal to two, okay? We have, we have two. But when we start with division first, we have six plus, Two divided by four. This is over zero point five. So we have seven, uh, six point five. Yeah, we have six point five. So two completely different answer, and that's why order of operation is extremely important. Because addition first, we have two, which is wrong. This this approach is absolutely wrong in this case. Of course, with parentheses, this is a great approach because we need to start with addition. But in our case, we don't have addition, so this is a wrong approach. Just forget about it. This one is a correct approach, to be honest. This one is a correct approach, but but we are talking about like a difference why PEMDAS is extremely important. So you need to learn a little bit about, about order of operations. So this one is great. This one is absolutely incorrect. And of course, whenever we, have, whenever we have a mixture of multiplication, addition, division, and subtraction, we need to perform division, multiplication first, and then addition and subtraction. Okay, so I really hope you get you get the point. And of course, if you want to plug in this question on your calculator, if you don't trust me, you can easily plug in this question right now on your calculator. And of course, in 99% of cases, we will have 42 as a correct answer because we are talking about we are talking about a correct order of operation and your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation. Your calculator know, knows everything about PEMDAS, BODMAS and a lot of these orders of operation. But plug in the whole question from left to right and you can easily share with your, with your answer into the comment section. It's extremely it's extremely great to see your respond uh, down into the comment section. So, okay, right here a lot of students may be saying, okay, 7 is a correct answer, 6 is a correct answer, maybe 42 is a correct answer, 12 is a correct answer. They try to to combine all this stuff but to be honest when you say that seven is a correct answer well you need to review a little bit of basic math when you say that six is a correct answer you need to review a little bit of basic math because this is very bad approach when you say that six is a correct answer when you say that option d is a correct answer you need to review a little bit your basic math because this is a wrong answer but 
when you say that 42 is a correct answer, you should be proud of yourself that you solved this question. Absolutely, absolutely correct. Division first, then addition, then multiplication, and of course, the first step is is parenthesis, which is extremely great. So you, you should be proud of yourself that you solved this question absolutely correct. If you solved this question absolutely wrong, you need to review a little bit your basicness. So it was my explanation about this question. I really hope you get the point. I really hope you learned something new, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, I have a lot of questions on my YouTube channel. I have a lot of challenges every day. So I really hope you enjoy it and I really hope you get the point. Thank you everyone for your time. Wish you all the best in life. Take care of yourself and have a great day. Love mass and see you in the next videos.